So I've learned living in New Zealand that it's very important to always, 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 always wear sunscreen. Also important is headgear. I keep my hat in the bathroom. Don't ask me why. It looks cool as decor and also I always know where it is. I definitely almost missed that turn off. Thinking I'm gonna look down at the GPS just in time. Ah, let's go! There's the ocean! One thing that's quite frustrating to see is all the rubbish on the beach. If you go to the beach, make sure you put your rubbish in the bin or take it home. It's as simple as that. So according to some of the reading that I've done, the boulders were actually created from bits of grit or gravel that were locked in between the softer layers of sediment, you know, millions and millions of years ago. And those bits of uh, gravel eventually rolled and built and built, sort of like a snowball effect, until it became these huge boulders. I think the biggest one here measures six meters across. It's just so incredible. It's getting really warm and I probably have a sunburn which is blaring your eyes. Like an idiot, I forgot my ooh, who's above me? Like an idiot, I forgot my sun hat in the car. I can totally see the sand dunes that are across from Opanoni. From here, I'll show you guys. There you can see the sand dunes. That's a trip for another time, friends.
definitely uh, looking forward to some water. Oh, and I lost my shoes. Check out the sunburn. So here I am back at the homestead. I had a great day out. I definitely recommend the Ko'otu boulders. I think it's a great place for families. You can spend the whole day there really discovering the boulders and then also just having fun in the ocean. It's a really nice sandy beach as well. I would give this a five out of five stars for family friendly, a four out of five stars for physical friendly. I would just highly recommend that you bring a sun hat.